Hey guys, it's Tyler. I'm a singer-songwriter from Johannesburg, South Africa. Welcome to Vibacity, your home of latest entertaining videos, news, gist, and more hot updates. Hello! Ladies and gentlemen, and of course, my beloved Vibe citizens, welcome to Vibe City HQ, the place where we uncover the most electrifying stories in the world of music, entertainment, and all things that make life groovy. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. You won't want to miss a single beat. In this captivating journey through the life of a rising star, we explore the enigmatic tale of Tyler Laura Seethal. Affectionately known as Tyla, brace yourselves, vibe citizens, because Tyla's story is an exhilarating roller coaster ride through talent, ambition, and the relentless pursuit of her dreams. Our story begins on January 30, 2002, when a star was born in the heart of South Africa. Tyla Laura Seethel, the young artist we're about to dive into, is a multi talented dynamo. She's not just a singer and songwriter. She's a force of nature with skills that extend far beyond the confines of a recording studio. Tyla, a true vibe citizen, can move your soul with her music and make you groove with her electrifying dance moves. Tyla's rise to stardom is a testament to her dedication and boundless creativity. It's her journey took an incredible turn when she signed a record deal with Epic Records, uh, cementing her status as a bona fide professional in the music industry. And this was only the beginning. In 2023, the world witnessed the emergence of a new music sensation. Tyla's hit single, Water, splashed into our lives and its impact was nothing short of a tidal wave. The song became an instant sensation, thanks in no small part to a viral dance challenge on TikTok. It's amazing how one catchy tune can unite millions of people in joyous dance. That's the magic of Tyla's music. Before conquering the international music scene, Tyla had already made waves in her home country. She made her mark a vibrant South African music scene with her debut track, Getting Late, featuring the, the talented Cool Drink. This collaboration not only showcased her vocal prowess, but also hinted at her knack for creating sonic masterpieces that transcend borders. Now, Vibe Citizens, isn't that a sensational beginning to the biography of Tyla? But don't fasten your seatbelts just yet because there's more to this intriguing journey. We're just getting started and Tyla's life story is filled with exhilarating chapters, each more extraordinary than the last. So uh, stay tuned as we delve deeper into her early life career, personal life discography and the coveted net worth. This is where the uh, real adventure begins. Yes. Then over here, this is a lounge. This is where we chill. And when we're driving, we like looking at the, the view. Well, it's nighttime now, but I mean, Usually there's a whole view and yeah, it's very pretty. We saw snow for the first time on the road through that window. So yeah, we're loving it. Now let's step back in time and explore the enchanting early years of our star, Tyla Laura Seethal. Born on January 30, 2002 in the vibrant and culturally diverse city of Johannesburg, South Africa. Tyla's roots run deep in a tapestry of heritage. Her family lineage weaves together the rich threads of Zulu, Indian, Mauritian, and Irish backgrounds creating a colorful mosaic that defines her identity. The journey of an artist often begins with the nurturing love of family, and Tyla's story is no different. While her parents have chosen to remain private figures, let's affectionately refer to them as Mr. Saidemi and Mrs. Sethal. These unsung heroes have played a significant role in shaping the remarkable talent we know today as Tyla. Education is often a stepping stone to greatness, and Tyla's path was no exception. In 2019, she proudly graduated from Eden Glen High School. But what makes this achievement even more captivating is her role as the head of culture during her time there. It's a testament to her early leadership and artistic prowess, foreshadowing the bright future that lay ahead. Tyla's family was not just about her parents. She shared her childhood with three loving siblings, each with a name that resonates with charisma. Whitney Seethal, Tyree Seethal, and Sydney Seethal. Growing up with such an affectionate and dynamic support system undoubtedly influenced the person she became. They say the bonds forged in childhood are the strongest and Tyla's siblings must be a wellspring of inspiration in her journey to stardom. This chapter, Vibe Citizens, paints a picture of Tyla's formative years where 
Her diverse cultural background and close-knit family laid the foundation for her incredible talents. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. We know all the kind of like, we're about to dive into the heart of her career where like the true magic unfolds. Um, so stay with us as we venture further into the story of this remarkable artist. I don't know, like, I've, I've always been like a big dreamer. Hello, this is your dream speaking. Hey, I'm Tiny Tito. Tiny Tito. But it never used to be like a reality, reality for us. Especially in South Africa, like there's not a lot of people that make- It all began with the release of her inaugural single, The Enchanting Getting Late, a masterpiece finely crafted under the skilled hands of the talented Cool Drink. The year was 2021, and Tyla found herself basking in the warm glow of tremendous national success. This was the moment that set her on a meteoric trajectory, one that would soon carry her across continents and into the hearts of fans around the globe. Tyla's journey took a transatlantic turn as she secured a recording contract with Epic Records in the United States, a pivotal milestone in her career. Her harmonious partnership with Fax Records further solidified her presence in the music industry, paving the way for more remarkable achievements. But that was just the beginning. Tyla's musical odyssey continued to unfurl its vibrant tapestry. In Europe, she embarked on the illustrious Under the Influence tour, sharing the stage with none other than the international sensation himself, Chris Brown. It was a musical extravaganza that left audiences in awe and showcased her ability to command a stage with charisma and grace. In 2023, Tyla unveiled a captivating single girl next door, a harmonious collaboration with the Nigerian music sensation, Aristar. This marked an injection of international flair into her already burgeoning musical repertoire. The song resonated with audiences across the globe, proving that Tyla's music transcends borders and speaks to the hearts of many. But the true masterpiece of her career was yet to come. In August, 2023, Tyla graced us with her latest hit, Water, this mellifluous creation, not only enchanted listeners, but also served as the figurehead for her impending debut extended play, Water made waves across TikTok, sprawling dance landscape, igniting a viral dance challenge that had thousands grooving to its rhythm, giving birth to over 50,000 videos in its honor. The accolades kept pouring in as Water surged to spectacular heights on various charts. It climbed the hallowed Billboard US Afrobeat Songs chart, shown on the resplendent UK Afrobeat Singles chart and sizzled on the scorching hot singles chart in the captivating realm of New Zealand. This Vibe Citizens is the story of a star who has not just risen, but has ascended to dazzling heights. I remember everywhere we went, mommy put you on the spot. Oh. Yeah. Every opportunity, my mother would make me sing. It was amazing. Yeah, you know why, Tyler? <laughs> You just touched so my heart. Cute. Every time I felt sad, I thought, okay, I'll hear Tyler. Then the others would try and make me feel better by rapping, but I don't know. <laughs> but you know what? In the fun. realm of fame and music, there often exists a world of intrigue and fascination surrounding the personal lives of our beloved artists. Tyler, at the tender age of 21, has been a master of maintaining an air of mystery about her personal life especially when it comes to her romantic relationships. She's chosen the path of discretion, consciously keeping her dating life under wraps. And as of this moment, she hasn't disclosed whether she is in a relationship. The question of who holds the key to her heart remains unanswered, a riddle that adds to her enigmatic charm. Tyler's penchant for privacy extends to her family background and upbringing. She has opted to remain tight-lipped about these aspects of her life, leaving her fans and the public curious about the roots that nourished her talent and ambition. While her musical journey is an open book, her personal history is a closed chapter that holds secrets known only to her and those closest to her. One thing we do know is that Tyla is yet to embark on the journey of parenthood. She remains unmarried and has shared nothing about a boyfriend. This personal choice to keep her life away from the spotlight is a testament to her dedication to her craft and the genuine affection she holds for her fans. So while we're tantalized by her music and her career, there's a veil of mystery that surrounds Tyla's personal life. But that's the beauty of her story. Her music speaks volumes, even when she chooses to remain silent about the intricacies of her life beyond the stage. Big T in the building. Once again, welcome to Dallas. Welcome to Texas. Welcome to the States. How you doing? How you doing? I'm amazing. How are you? There you go. There you go. Hey. For those that are deaf, dumb, stupid, and living on the rock, please let them know where you're from, first and foremost. 
Okay, so I'm from Johannesburg, South Africa. Wow. Yes. South Africa. Wow. And we are Nigerians. So yeah, we, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, we, we got a little we got a little African blood in us, but I'm curious, from being from Johannesburg and coming to the States and being in America, what are some either some big differences or some similarities from the States to like South Africa? Or like what what's the yeah, same? Yeah, there's so many differences. Like the people, like the parties, the way it looks, like Wait, is it different. better parties or like what are you saying? What are you saying? Uh, <laughs> no parties beat South African parties. Hey, I'm hey, just telling you now. Talk about it. Talk yeah. About it. Okay, and, and you know, from our perspective, right? You know, we're Nigerian, and mm -hmm. a lot of the Afro Beach, we got a couple of Nigerian artists going crazy. Yes. Who do you, who do y'all listen to out there in South Africa? In South Africa, yo, we listen to uh, DJ Maporisa. We listen to Calvin Momo. We listen to oh, obviously the Afrobeats, Wizkid, Yes. Rema, Arista. We listen to literally African artists, but then also obviously the global Drakes and the. There you go. Yeah, we listen to it all. So, who are some of your inspirations directly, like that inspired you to do music? <clears throat> Michael Jackson. Shout out Michael Jackson. Rest in peace. Yes. Yes, Rihanna. Rihanna. Um, Tim's. Tim's, Tim's, yes. Tim's is a Coming huge up. inspiration for me. Like, comes from the continent and she's doing amazing things. Like, that's really been an inspiration. And yeah. There you go. What are some, uh, what are some misconceptions that happen? Like, you being from Johannesburg, you being from South Africa. What do people like maybe not understand about you, your culture, uh, your your music? Like, what are some things that people may not understand when they first meet you? Well, something like people always think that we have like animals just chilling like just we, like you know we all see coming to america so <laughs> yeah i know but it's not like that like everyone's like oh do you do you go to school with a giraffe like stupid questions like that that's something that i'm like oh my word um but i don't know like i feel like i've been received well people yes. are very interested and i think that's good like it's yeah. been good yeah so what, what did you do to get the um the eye of the the label right because you know as an artist you grind and grind and grind and then it's that moment where you're like oh wow it's happening for me what was it that happened for you to get to that attention so like initially i had like labels once on my mind like it wasn't something that i thought was realistic so i never thought i could work towards it so i was literally just making music and when i dropped the video for getting late all the labels literally reached out there was a whole bidding war like it was crazy and yeah epic was the one i went with who, who was on your team when you were making that music for it to happen like that who was your producer the videographer who did you work with i didn't have a whole hey producer videographer like no it was like me my best friend my manager uh he also shot the video he's a videographer as well oh, the right shot the video? Yes, wait, my oh, he did it right the video. wait how how was uh how was cool drink doing now how is he doing yeah how's he doing He's been good. Okay, make yeah, it sure. Yeah, he's been good. Sure. So how important was for getting late to be what it was? How important is TikTok for like your success? Like how did you use TikTok to elevate to the next level? Because that's a beautiful thing what you did. It's a new platform. Mm. And we're actually looking at artists signing to like epic records yeah. from TikTok, which is crazy. How was that? So I mean like TikTok, I just used to make videos for fun because that's what I do. And then like as my following started growing, I realized, hold on, I can use this. And yeah, like I started posting the song, people started doing challenges, and I mean, my music reached people I never thought it would. So it's really been a catalyst to like my career. That's really, and before we talk about music, um, for the fans at home, what are like either, what is one thing or some things that a fan may not know that you maybe have a talent in or you might do on a regular that they may not know about? I draw. Oh, wow. Yeah, but I, I don't say it because I always feel like one day people are going to have a drawing competition and then I must now pull a whole Picasso out. Right, I'm, right. I'm not on that level, but I mean, I do draw. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Now that you're signed to a major label, is there any particular artist that you envision yourself working with or you want to collaborate with? Drake. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Right. What is about Drake that you want to say, hey, I would love to collaborate with him? Like, what is about him that you would like? I just love that he's such a diverse artist. He can make any genre and it will slap. I just love that and I I look up to that, you know, because I also love that and I feel like I'm able to do that. So one day, we'll make a hot song, I know. 
There you go. Are you are you very well traveled? Have you been like other places in the world outside of Africa and United States? Have you been other other countries? I have, but I'm not well traveled. Like the first time I was out of South Africa was after I signed the deal. There you go. Before Amazing. I signed, I was actually just there chilling, <laughs> mobbing in South Africa. And then the deal happened and I've been to Dubai, I've been to America, the Europe, I've been to Nigeria, Ghana, like so many different places. What is one of your best moments from one of these trips? My best moments? Oh, the Chris Brown tour. Oh, yes. Shout Chris out Chris Brown. Brown. Yes, Doing I mean, thing. like just the fact that I could say that <laughs> is amazing. There you go. Being as young as you are, um, what are some things that you've learned in this business that you might even give to someone else that's coming into the business? What are some things that you'll give them, like as far as uh, some words of encouragement or just even like things to look out for, mm. being so young yourself? I think I would, gen like I would say, you have to really want this. Like, because even me, before I actually got into it, I was like, oh, I wanna be a pop star. But I didn't realize how much work actually goes into it. Like the sleepless nights, the pressure, the stress, like it's a lot. So I would just say, make sure you really want it and then go for it. Now um, you have a new, uh, you have a video out, Been Thinking. Um, the visual is crazy. I see you getting down in there. Um, have you always been a two way artist where you sing and dance? Is that always been your thing or? So I've never really incorporated it that much. But when I started performing like on tour and everything, like we put it all together and I love it so much that I, I'm so excited to see where it can go one day. So, yeah. There you go. Now, now you are beautiful yourself. Thank you. How do you navigate when young boys, young men try to hop in the DMs and say, hey, Tila, what's going on? How do you, how do you navigate trying to not say, hey, you know, yeah. I'm over here, I'm focused on the music versus entertaining any kind of DMs or anything? I think, honestly, I see the person, I'm like, does this person want to work? Like, does this person want bombs? Right, like, right. If you want bombs, then hey, I'm not answering. But I mean, if I see like there's potential, then I answer, I see how it's going to be like, and then, yeah, we go from there. Like, if they're too forward, then I cut it. But if they're not, I let them think they can get it. I just make them think they can and then they don't. Boom. Yeah. So who who is who is your top five like artist of all time? Of all time. Yeah. Who is your top five? Hmm. I obviously Michael Jackson, yes. Rihanna, um, Britney Spears. Yes. Um, Drake. Yes. Uh Hmm, it's always difficult to find the last one. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, yeah, there's so many, but then I would all, I would also say Wizkid, Wizkid. because yes. I mean, he's been around for so long and like, he's just doing so much for the culture and the genres. So I definitely put him there. There you go. Now for your music, for your talent, for who you are and your brand, what would you like to see your brand in the next five years? We had a lot of people on this platform say it and it comes into existence so where would you like to see your brand in the next five years yo i'd love i'd love to see it obviously huge you know like yes. i look up to rihanna she's done an amazing job and i hope to one day be on that level and even bigger you know oh yes because i really believe i really believe I could definitely see you in a Super Bowl halftime shows, yes, imagine. Grammy award winning, imagine. and you know for your Grammy speech, who's the first person you'll thank? First person, God. Always. There you go. There Always. you go. Amen. Amen. <laughs> for those that want to follow you, want to see see what your movement is. Um, again, how can they get at you? Where can they follow you? What social media platforms are you most active on? Um, just follow me on Instagram at Tyler T Y L A Easy. I've got that tag, guys, so you'll better follow me there. <laughs> and then um, you'll find the rest over there. There you go. Now, I do want to shout out uh, Hennessy. I want to shout out Epic Records because yeah. they put out a, a great event here in Dallas yeah, for Sarah you. Sarah Bodron. Yeah, shout out Sarah, Sarah, Sarah for real. Um, any shout outs you want to give as far as to those that helped you get to this moment right here? Shout out to Epic Records. Shout out to my team. Shout out to my family. I know they, they're so excited back home. I'm coming home soon, so Ooh. shout out to them. And yeah, 
Hopefully they're fan of Real Life Street Stars as well. We got in the building. Life in South Africa. Once again, she's on the couch, man. Tyler, uh, man, it's so much amazing things you're going to be doing. We can't wait to watch your journey. Don't get too lit to forget us. Come back and holler at us definitely whenever you come back to the States. We'll take you out. You know, we'll do the whole thing, man. But once again, we got to say it. You are a real life street star. Hey. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Survivor City.